everyone, my name is Rachel and in this video I'm going to be trying a couple samples of the stuff that I've gotten in the mail this month. So the first samples that I got were from Revlon and through Influencer. So I did get this box for free. If you sign up th through Influencer, uh, you have a chance to try free products as well. I got to try the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer in Rose Quartz, the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish, and this is in the color Birthday Suit, and their Revlon Nail Enamel in the color Koi. <laughs> is that it looks nice um I don't normally wear foundation the little oil beads didn't quite dissolve in my hands the way that it said it was supposed to so I had to brush those off before I put anything else on my face this is very hydrating uh, my lips were super dry right before I put it on and I put this on and my lips actually feel so much better already color I thought it would be a little darker than it's coming up on my lips and this might be just a smidge too light for what I prefer for my lip color. Okay, so I've put on two coats of color and one coat of my usual top coat and honestly I'm not really happy with this formula. It is still pretty streaky. Of course, uh, my edges are all messed up. Those will clean themselves up before tomorrow. Honestly, the color on is not as bad as I was expecting. I don't think I would usually pick out this color for myself. It's a little too bright pink, uh, kind of like ballerina pink. You can see how it holds up over the next 24 hours or so. I feel like that's a good time frame for if it's gonna chip that quickly, that's too quickly. It's Wednesday morning and I am doing the full wear test today for the Revlon products. So I'm currently wearing the primer, uh, just the primer. I'm not wearing any foundation because I don't usually wear face makeup to work and I'm wearing the vinyl lip polish and the nail polish. When I put on the primer this morning, I really tried to rub it in my hands to melt the oil beads for as long as I could, and I felt like I was really wasting the product, and the beads still did not dissolve. I was putting it on my face, I still had the like little capsules from the beads all over my face. I was brushing it off all over my hands for like 15 minutes after I put on my makeup. So for the lipstick, 
I put it on this morning and I immediately was having so many issues with it transferring onto my teeth. Um, and I'm wearing my Smile Direct Club aligners, so I don't know if that is the difference where it's getting on the aligners, whereas I didn't notice an issue last night when I wasn't wearing them. And But today I have not felt confident once that I don't have lipstick on my teeth. It's the end of my work day. It's currently 5.11. I got here at about 9.20 this morning. So I've been wearing the primer, the lip polish, and the nail polish all day. And you know what? I have determined that I do not love these products. Um, the nail polish stayed on just fine, but I don't love the formula and I don't love the color. The lip, uh, the lip polish stayed on for a good couple of hours. I would have needed to reapply around noon. By two, it was completely gone, and now it's just kind of dry and and very flaky. But um, I didn't. I honestly didn't like it enough to even bother reapplying. Um, I didn't love the color especially when I wasn't wearing foundation um, and I didn't love the feeling it, it just didn't really work for me as a as a whole um, and the primer I mean it looks let me check I still see a little remnants of the primer but I don't love how it goes on. I don't love that the beads can't seem to dissolve in my hands in what I would consider an appropriate amount of time to be rubbing your hands together with product on it. So I am just going to give these products to friends or family if they want to try them for themselves. Um, otherwise, I'm probably not going to use any of these products again. As always, I really appreciate Influencer for sending them to me to try for free, but I do not like these products. Which, it's hit or miss. This was a miss. I also paid a dollar to have uh, the Frey sample set sent to me, so um, I got the laundry detergent in sandalwood, bergamot, and clove, and the laundry detergent in cedarwood, oak moss, and amber. The thing to know about Frey is that they do sign you up for their subscription service uh, when you buy the samples. So the samples do only cost a dollar, but in a couple of weeks, like, it was probably three or four days after I received the samples, um, they send you the email letting you know that your subscription service is starting and will be shipping soon. So if you wanna make any changes, make them now. I did cancel um, the service because I just barely got them. I do want to try them. I have tried them and I actually do really like them, but it is definitely, uh, a more expensive option. Oh gosh, they smell so good. This one's my favorite, the, the sandalwood bergamot and clove. It definitely smells like a man candle, like a boyfriend candle, which I'm a big fan of personally, especially in the fall and winter. If you're looking for something that might give you a little bit of that coziness in the fall, like if you're somebody who um, really struggles in the fall and winter, maybe investing in something like this might, you know, help make things look more cozy and, uh, you know, kind of brighten your day a little bit because it smells like wearing a boyfriend candle. Um, and the smell doesn't stick around for too long, not in an overpowering way. Like I put on my socks this morning and I was like, what's that smell? That smells so good. Um, I can wear my perfume and I know it's not gonna clash. This one, I just didn't love the smell as much. This one smells more like an aftershave. I just prefer the boyfriend candle. 
smell the most. The samples that I tried in September, uh, the Revlon products were all misses for me, unfortunately. Like I said, I'm still really grateful for the opportunity to try them through Influencer. Um, and the Frey detergent was actually a win. I'm just milking these bottles for all they're worth instead of signing up for their subscription service. I hope you all have a wonderful start to your fall um, and I can't wait to see what things I get to try in October. Have a great rest of your day. Love you. Bye.